in January the 22nd. I guess the Lord had me in the right place, the right time, with the right commitment. I was president Tweet. of the Selma City Teachers, for the Teachers first time Association. To engage in a and then we had agreed that, uh, and I persuaded teachers for the first time to engage in a teacher's march. And so we <coughs> agreed, after they signed their names to a petition, that we were going to march as a teacher group. And so on January 22nd, we met at Clark Elementary School here, which was the school where I attended for the first grade through the sixth grade. We met upstairs, and my part, we marched up a file. My partner was my 10th, 11th, and 12th grade science teacher. His name was Mr. A.J. Durgan. He was the incoming president of the Selma City Teachers Association. And we led that march, teachers, for the first time in the United States, coming down the steps of Clark Elementary School, down Long Street, down to Alabama Avenue, down to the courthouse. Teachers, for the first time. Getting down to the county courthouse that was standing next to the steps, the superintendent of education, the chairman of the board of education to persuade me, because I was a teacher, to take the teachers back to the school because we had made a point and that uh, no longer should we try to pursue that right from that particular point. And I told him we had a right to be at the county courthouse. It was our courthouse. We were not backing down from our right to be there. And I asked the superintendent and the chairman of the board who signed my check to step aside. We went up those steps. Jim Clark had his debits across the door. And he indicated that we were trying to make a mockery out of his courthouse. And we indicated to him that that was our courthouse also. He gave us one minute to move off of those steps. At the expiration of that minute, he took the billy club and jabbed us down the steps <clears throat> on the sidewalk. And my partner, Mr. A.J. Duggan, who, as I said, was my teacher, he was not quite used to that stuff like I was. And he asked me on the ground, <clears throat> he said, what shall we do? I said, we are going back. He said, hmm? And so we went back the second time. He jabbed down the steps after a minute. And he asked me the same question. <clears throat> I gave him the same answer. And he gave me the same response. The third time when I really was trying to get all the teachers arrested, <clears throat> because teachers were not aware of the tremendous influence they were the largest black professional group here in Dallas County. And so after <clears throat> going back the third time, he said, if you don't go up these steps, Jim Clark, he said, we're going to arrest you. I said to myself, exactly what I want you to do. And so at the, <clears throat> about 45 seconds, before that minute expired, someone on the inside of the courthouse came and pulled him on the inside of the courthouse door <clears throat> and said I didn't go in there with him but I can Im imagine what they told him for goodness sake don't arrest those teachers that's right welcome 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 to the lineage podcast we appreciate everybody joining us on this thankful Thursday this great Thursday uh, we coming to you once again uh, grateful grateful and, and and it's a pleasure to be with y'all um, every week so we appreciate y'all joining us we got a great show today. We got a couple of things lined up. We got another segment that we introduced into the to the uh, lineage podcast world and the viewers um, that we. What you mixing, bro? Well, you know, I want I want my trainer to see. He said on the show he want me to see me drinking my protein. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm letting him know I'm drinking it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, because I'm trying to get this progress. You know, I got you. I got there, you. there you go, Jay. You see it. Bro. There you go. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a great show, man. We got another segment we introducing. Uh, so, you know, it's great. It, it, it feels great to be able to um, do that. And listen, I'll tell y'all this. Y'all know I got to go down the line. 
Y'all know what time it is. We don't have the book, Selma's Self-Sacrifice. Matter of fact, let me put a picture of it. This is the book, Selma's Self-Sacrifice. It is on Amazon. Please get the book. Um, um, it's a great autobiography of Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Reese and Mrs. Uh, well, written by Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Reese and Mrs. Kathy Walters. Uh, please get the book. It's a great book. Uh, if I say so myself, great book. Yeah, that's right. Um, good evening, uh, Tawana. How you doing? Uh, so get that book, please. Second thing, if you haven't booked the tour, FD Reese Historical Tour, we tour out of Selma, Alabama. Go to Trip Advisory, go to Vieta, and see this picture right here, me and my brother, with the book in our hand. You go to group um, and, and book the FD Reese Historical Tour. Um, we really um, are excited about what, what's happening with the tours. We're expanding it. Um, we are getting booked more. And so that, that's one of the favorite things we like to do is to spread this knowledge uh, about the Voting Rights Act that a lot of people don't know. Um, so I, I promise you, you will not be disappointed in this tour. Uh, so if you if you haven't booked the tour, you're missing a treat. Please go do that. Um, please go do that. So first nurse is doing first nurse things. That's right. You know, this week she is. Um, she is at the front line call of duty at work, but y'all know she ain't gonna leave us hanging. Love so her. We, uh, what you say, Adam? She gonna do it. Well, yeah, she she do what I say do, but I love her her dedication, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Second to none, I must say. That's facts. That's <laughs> facts. Um, so first nurse Kimberly Reese, she left us video with her segment. Uh, so we're gonna play that. So please take heed. Look, like I said, we got another segment coming for y'all. Uh, called the Mr. Voting Rights segment, the Mr. Voting Rights segment, and we have the first guest. Th this is where we highlight our children, the next generation, mm -hmm. not just our children. Um, we can start with our kids, but then we will. We want to highlight highlight children. So uh, around, if, if y'all know that kids that are exceeding in class, they have passions, um, um, they have they have talent, mm -hmm. uh, they have businesses. Um, this is going to be the section where we highlight them. That's and right. I can remember as a child when when I was highlighted, whether where I was singing or speaking or reading. Um, I remember those days where, where people would give me motivation and give me um, a platform to highlight what I was doing or, or, or my talent. So that's very important. And so here at the Lineage Podcast, we really care about the next generation. And so we're going to do that today. And we and our first and our first guest very excited. And I'm telling you, it's a treat, y'all. Y'all, y'all really don't want to miss this young man. Y'all really don't want to miss this. But before we get to that, we're gonna play first nurse Kim Reese video. So y'all take heed to this and we'll be right back. Hello everyone. This is your first nurse Kimberly coming to give you a weekly dose of health information. The month of August is the month of psoriasis awareness month. Psoriasis is an inflammatory skin disease that is caused by an overreactive immune system. There are five main types of psoriasis plus psoriasis arthritis, which affects the joints. The most common psoriasis is called plaque psoriasis. This psoriasis is mainly located on the knees, elbows, scalp, and trunk. Did you know there is a common link between psoriasis and asthma? The common treatment for psoriasis is vitamin D, corticosteroids, phototherapy, and other treatments. Increasing awareness of psoriasis allows myths to be shattered about the condition. So you can get involved and bring awareness to psoriasis by including posting social media and educational resources or donating. Okay, first another Kim Reese, we appreciate that. Uh, right. please, please take awareness to this is psoriasis awareness month. Um, and when she sent that to me, I looked at it three times. I'm like, man, that's crazy. A lot of stuff I don't know until um, Kim bring it up it to my attention. Um, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> right. I might have seen it somewhere, but didn't know what it was. So, yeah, uh, first nurse Kim Reese doing first nurse things this week. But she, you all already know she's going to take care of home. So we appreciate that. Now, let's go to the Mr. Voting Rights segment. This is the segment that we're now going to start implementing um kids our next generation uh so listen we will take a 20 second break and we will come back we'll introduce this is big y'all this is the first mr voting rights segment guest uh uh mr alan reese jr 
<laughs> um, he's going to come and 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 tell us um, his passion. When I say this is passion, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Anytime he see Uncle MJ, he going to mention this thing. So, so listen, we coming right back. Y'all don't want to miss this. We coming right back. We are back, and look who we have here. This is uh, Mr. Allen Reese Jr., a.k.a. AJ. Uh, this is Allen Reese's son, of course, my nephew, and uh, we are glad to have you here. Mr. AJ, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good, doing good. Great, great. So, look, I know what your passion is when it comes to, if, if, if anybody don't know AJ, his passion has to do with the Titanic. This is one of them. I would say right now, I could, I could be mistaken. This is one of his greatest passions right now. <laughs> he know more about this boat than anybody I know, period. So, okay, so AJ, first of all, I know you made a replica of, of you made a few of them. Show us, show us one of your, one of your boats. Let me see your boat. Uh, see if you can put it on the screen. Where your boat at? Oh, my um boat right here. Um, I don't okay. know if y'all can really see it because of the green screen. Yeah. But um, y'all can see a little bit. Y'all can see um kind of a little bit of the detail and stuff. Mm -hmm. See? So um, this is called Costa Concordia. It sunk in two thousand and twelve, and um. Only thirty-two people died on the um on their um carnival cruise ship, and um and the captain um the captain um got arrested for sixteen years because he didn't go down with the ship and he just jumped off and swam to another lifeboat. Okay, now let me ask you this: I I know about the see I don't even know about the Concordia, but I know I know I got to bring up the Titanic. So let me ask you what. Give me, give me three things about the Titanic. Uh, give me three facts about the Titanic. Let's let's go. With it. What three facts about the Titanic? Okay, so um, Titanic voyage was on April tenth, nineteen twelve. Four days later, it sunk by an iceberg. The uh, top of the iceberg looked as small, but the bottom of the iceberg was massive. Mm. And um. When Titanic hit it, um, when the when the Titanic hit the ship, it um tilted and, and kind of sunk down, and then on the rest of the sinking, it sunk down. Okay. And the fact number two, Titanic had four funnels. The the funnel in the back was not um was not um smoking out because it only had three propellers on it. And um, mm -hmm. number three is Titanic had um, Titanic didn't have um, Titanic only had twenty lifeboats, and it's supposed to have sixty four. And the captain went down with the ship because um, he knew he shouldn't have put that ship very fast. So that's my three facts. Oh man, now I didn't know about this. So it's supposed to be sixty four lifeboats, but it was only twenty. Yep. Okay, so why did the sink, huh? What type of boat was the Titanic? Was it a cruise ship? What what was it? It was an ocean liner. Ocean liner, okay. okay. Ocean liner, okay. Now let me ask you a question. Why did it sink? What caused it to sink? Um, an iceberg. Okay, and then the, when the water filled up, why? So, as far as the water, if it would have filled, how many compartments? would it had to feel for it to still survive it only had to feel um four but um the damage did five over five compartments okay so because that fifth one was was, was hit then that made it it was over with yeah let me ask you I, let me see if i got another question you know how many passengers was on there at least there's over there's over like two thousand and, um, mm. if you, and if you put that in hundreds, there was like over 1,500. Mm. How many people um, survived? Under 700. And um, 
13 people was rescued out of the water. 13. Okay. 13 so how many people perished? Um, wait. No, 1,500 people perished, but, um, but, um, but, um, Titanic only hold 2,000. Okay. 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 Man, let me think of anything else. Whoa. So what, 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 I know you like, um, building boats. So, so what you want to be when you grow up? What? I want to be an architect. I want to, and I want to go to um military mm -hmm. baby, and try to build um boats for them. Okay. War boats. Okay. Nice. Warships. What grade you in, AJ? The fourth. And what school you go to? Steer Grove Elementary. There you go. There yeah, it I, is. I, I want to ask you some other questions. I'm going to throw something out there now. Okay. Throw it out there. Uh, we want to talk about GG Pop. Mm -hmm. Answer the question. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna hear about yes, No, oh. pay attention. So that, that, um, but the last time you asked me, that was like three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me this: what? Um, let's see. On January the twenty second, nineteen sixty five, uh, what did your Gigi Papa leave? The um. The teacher's march. There you go. Okay. He okay. with it. Okay, he with it. I'm not leaving you alone. You got that one right. <laughs> First world's teacher's march. Okay. That's right. I, 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 just, I just asked you one question. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> you want to ask me some more questions about ships? Okay, look, this we'll we'll let you do. Give me one more fact, and then we'll let you give me one more fact. I'm trying to think of a question I can ask you that um, I know um, that I think okay you need. I, is it okay if I give you like two more? Yeah, do your thing, man. Do your thing. Um, one fact was Titanic. Uh, while it was selling, Titanic was kind of um tilted, so they had to fix. So they had to fix that while it was selling. Okay. And the second one was, um, the reason why um some tombstone some tombstones in of uh, Titanic. The um, people that didn't survive the two stones, the tombstones mm -hmm. of it, mm -hmm. um, they didn't have no names on it because some people boarded on there with um, with um, putting um, on some false names. Mm. Mm. Okay, one more question. This is from your mother, so I got to ask this. Your mother said, "What was the name of the boat that rescued the people from from the Titanic?" Oh, that's an easy question. <laughs> <laughs> it was called it was called Carpathia. Carpathia, okay, okay, cool. In Car so, look, go ahead. And I think Carpathia sunk in 1918. Okay. Hey, but he throwing he my dates. Hey, <laughs> like, hey, how we be throwing them dates by LD? AJ know them dates, boy. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. I must say. Well, look, AJ, this is big, man. You have been the first guest on the Mr. Bowden Rice segment. And uh, we appreciate you joining us. Hold on. Your mama asked one more. I got, to, I got to do it. Your mom asked you personally, AJ, why did you build the Titanic? Because I remember one time my faith, my sister Faith said, oh, Titanic is on Netflix. And mm -hmm. daddy said, Titanic was on Netflix. Um, and then said, let me go look at this movie. And then I saw the ship sinking. And, um, and, uh, and, that was, and the ship sinking was very cool. Because wow. um, I saw the inside of the boat, the ship sinking, the water was blasting out, mm -hmm. and the ship um breaking in half. Mm -hmm. And now um, and um, that that made me build the Titanic. Okay, and one more. How did you build the Titanic? How did I build the Titanic? Well, yeah. well, Mama. Um, how I built the Titanic? Mm -hmm. It was with it was with shit kebab sticks. Wood mm -hmm. and um toilet um tissue or toilet paper with um roll, um we took the rolls off of it and um because my mom was like um I'm not wasting all of this time taking these rolls off, <laughs> um, <laughs> these rolls um and um and um we used them we took the rolls off and we um we had some like um some um paper out of mm -hmm. the rolls. And we um wrapped it some construction paper around it. Okay. That's how we 
And what we'll do, man, after the show, the people who hasn't seen his replica of the Titanic will post it on our social media. Yeah, we're gonna post is it. it okay if, is it okay if I come out on here some more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll bring you back on in the future, man, to talk about the Titanic and your yeah. progress. And keep oh on no, here. I'm not gonna talk about Titanic. I'm gonna talk about another ship. Oh, okay, whatever well, you want to talk about. Yeah, keep that. Yeah, next time we got to, we'll, we'll bring you on for another ship. But look, man, we appreciate your nephew. Uh, uh, keep keep up the good work. Keep up the knowledge, man. And uh, yeah, stay with that passion, man. I, I love it, man. I love it. So, uh, anything you want to say before we let you go? Oh, you know, um, got some say um, like a daddy. You know? <laughs> oh, well, um, you know, I had to talk about this. Um, some um, some um, people with this um submarine went down here. Went down there to go see a top tank and the worker um and they sued the worker but the um but the um worker um told them that the submarine was not um going to be um wasn't it was um I think it was going I think it was not um I think something was wrong with it. And mm -hmm. it was not um a tour submarine. It was I think it was just um a work submarine. But um, they did. They, they still didn't listen. They went down there, and and somebody um and um one well, somebody wanted the Titan submarine, and somebody got too scared, and that was my and that was the and that was my the greatest decision they made of their life because they could they could have imploded with that submarine than those people inside of it, and nobody survived. Yep. Right. 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 Hundred percent right. All right, AJ, we appreciate you. This is Alan, Alan Reese Jr. In the, what grade you in? Fourth. In the fourth grade. Uh, Cedar Grove Elementary School, we appreciate them. Uh, so uh, once again, this is Mr. Voting Rights 7 where we highlight the youth. And without, uh, and we love that uh, Mr. Alan Reese Jr. was our first <laughs> guest on the Mr. Voting Rights segment. So we'll see you later, AJ. Okay, well, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Listen, y'all, we'll be right back. Uh, we're going to get a little commercial. We'll be right back. And we're going to talk about uh, a couple of things when we come right back. So don't go nowhere. And I persuaded teachers for the first time to engage in a teacher's march. And so we <clears throat> agreed that we were going to march. Nice. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Lineage Podcast. We we want to thank AJ for being on, on here, man. That was great. That was uh yeah, man. He, he yeah. really he really did a great job, I must say. Yeah, but you know that don't surprise me because you know he that's his regular self. He just yeah, you know, he'll talk like his daddy, but yeah. you know, I promise you. Sometimes yeah, so. you, say, well, you know you talk a lot, but then I have to say to myself, man, look who's talking. Where he get it from. <laughs> um, so I know he backstage. I know he can still see. I see the comments say, "Yes, sir, AJ," and um, Demetra Jolly, awesome AJ. Keep it going, little cousin. Tawana said, "I'm so proud of you taking the time to learn about the Titanic. You're teaching me something." 
And Rose Mars said, that is awesome. AJ, very excited for your insights about ships. So, yeah, keep it up, AJ. You already know what time it is. Yeah. Um, we're talking about leadership um, today. Mm -hmm. This can go a lot of different ways. Man, I tried to upload that video, but I couldn't. Oh, man. Um, about my man. Um, oh, boy. Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Larry Elder, yeah. Yeah. He was uh, speaking on fatherlessness in Black America and, and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it 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 brought up, I know you commented, it brought up a, a, something that, that, that you made a good point about. Um, what I'll say, what, um, I just give me your, give me your kind of take on it or what he was saying and, 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 and kind of what you were, what you said, how the conversation move forward. Yeah. What I, what I was saying is, is that one thing about we, as the black community, we tend to be blind. We put a wall up when it comes to, um, our liberalness, liberalness, I don't know if that's a word, and, cons and being a conservative, being a liberal and a conservative. Mm -hmm. And what the man was saying, he was right about the black fathers. He was saying about that, that look at the, the black community, these kids, you know, they're fatherless, they're, you know, there's a lot of things that's going on in the community that they don't have direction. And I agree with him on that. Mm -hmm. And when they asked about, well, who created the system? For that, when they was like, don't you think it's racist? And he didn't think it was a, it was a racist. Uh, America is not really a racist country anymore because we elected a black president and all that. Right. And, and what happened, he allowed his being a conservative to stop him from looking at it is still racist in America. So, and this is what happens to a lot of black conservatives who call themselves strong conservatives with the Republican Party. They act like because now I'm a Republican or I'm a conservative that I don't see race, the racism that's in America. And then the liberals on the other end that pretty much vote Democrat, they were right about the system that was created to keep black people down, but then they don't want to hold their black people accountable in their own community. So right. then they hit a wall because they're liberals. They don't want to agree with him that we got to raise our kids, but we got to do better in our communities. They don't want to agree with him because he, he's a conservative and they don't want to say anything bad about their party. Correct. Us as black people have to be bigger than our party. See, I can say this, that I agree with him as a Republican about that we need to do better with our kids mm -hmm. and raising our young men and that fathers need to be back in the home. Whatever happened, I know what happened. We can go down the list on what happened the system that was created with the welfare and all that that took the black man out of the home and the drugs and and all that was done purposely by the mm -hmm. Republican Party. We 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 can go we can go there. You're right, right. And 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 we we could talk about that and still come over here on the Democratic side and say, look, we do need to hold our own self accountable to some of the things that goes on in our communities. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And this is what we have to do, MJ. We have to be honest with ourselves to move forward as a black community that then becomes a part of the American, um, um, the American voting uh, community. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Facts. We as a as a black community has to walk have to walk in one to the American constitution and everything where we talk about voting in this in this in this whole liberation or whatever that's going on in the in in the voting realm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and that that's my thing with we as black people we think we we we, we are too um we we on our party side than on our black side and our community side. Right. We, well, we talk good until it's time to talk about what's wrong in our own political party. And that's a shame. Correct. You know Correct. what I'm saying? 100% with it. it it's some right. self-awareness. Some self-awareness need to go on. And, and a lot of the times, man, you know you know how we are now. When when when, when it's time for us to, to stand up and say what's real and, and what's in our face when it comes to the racism in, in America, we already know what time it is. 
It was built on racism. We can go slavery. We can go, you know, coming out of Reconstruction. We can go the the, the Jim Crow laws. We can go mass incarceration. We can go welfare. We can we can go all of that. So we know there's a we can go red line and gentrification. We can go Tulsa, Oklahoma. We can go all the way down the line. But we understand that yes, the system we understand the system has done black people wrong in America. Point blank. Point At the same. Point go ahead. And the thing is this: democracy. This is why I agree with the Black Panther Party. The Black Panther Party, what they had the right mindset coming out of the civil rights movement. Right. And if that generation would have embraced, yes, yeah, some of a lot of it was radical, but if they would have embraced the Black Party, we should have our own party and then infiltrate democracy. See, at the end of the day, the, the Republican and the Democratic Party, they agree on one thing. It shall only always be the Republican and the Democrat Party. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Right. They understand that. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And they mm -hmm. say we always sway the people between the two. Mm -hmm. We don't want another strong party. But the Black Panther Party was trying to say, look, let's take care of our own community. Mm -hmm. And let's understand each other as black people who are rich, who are middle class, and who are poor, and have a basic understanding of our community, while we then, as a group, can go inside a democracy and handle business for the black people. It's nothing wrong with that, MJ. That's facts. But what That's we've facts. done, we've said, okay, I'm going to be a Republican, or I'm going to be a Democrat. And so now I got to align myself with all their their um their beliefs. Mm -hmm. And if someone talks bad about the Republican Party, as a black man, I'm gonna be blind to racism in America because someone is saying something bad about the Republican Party. Correct. Same thing with the Democrats. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote Democrat, I'm gonna be the Democrat, and I'm gonna be black. But soon as someone says something bad about the Democratic Party. Oh, my blue Democratic Party comes before me as a black person, and that's wrong. Mm -hmm. That is wrong, bro. That's facts. And Tracy we have said, to change that. Most black people have conservative beliefs. We do. 100%. We look around to a lot of this stuff that's going on, like, uh-uh, that ain't right. Right. That ain't right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's the truth. And we, we have to understand that, bro. But we, have, we as black people got to understand this. We cannot be party dominant. We have to be black dominant, mm -hmm. our community dominant. Then, as we are our community dominant, walk into democracy knowing what black people want. That's right. Because when the democracy was created, the core values of democracy was created around what white people during that time wanted. The Republican Party is created around what those white people wanted in the Democrat, even though they switched faces with the Dixiecrats. We, that's a whole nother conversation. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it's created by what their core values were. Right. You get what right. I'm saying? Right. So we wasn't a part, we was not at the table when those core values of those parties were created. So mm -hmm. what is black people should do with our with our churches, our fraternities, our, 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 our frats, our AKAs and deltas and everything we got going on, we need to create what is the identity of black people in America, rich, middle class, and poor, and, mm -hmm. let's, and let's merge it. Then we shall go into democracy and voting and voting those values. Then they will take us serious, bro. Mm -hmm. Facts wholeheartedly agree. Like Anastasia said, people put the people first, not the political party. Yeah, yeah I'm at the point. I'm at the point. I only want to hear if you're a Democrat or Republican. Let's talk about what, Damn, what we need to agree on. That's right. To, for our people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm about. What, you know what how I'm we going to move this forward? How we going to move it forward, bro? And see, this is, this is, this, we can always play Monday, Monday morning quarterback, but it was the next generation after F.D. Reese now, the Jesse Jackson generation and the Al Sharpton generation who should have been at the forefront teaching people how to walk into democracy as black people. Mm -hmm. But what they did, they aligned themselves with a party. Right. That's just what it is. We was black people have never been taught like we was taught 
how to get the right to vote, mm -hmm. how, how, how much emphasis we put on getting the vote. We was never taught how to move in democracy once right. we got it. We right. didn't put emphasis on that. We told people we what we did, we messed up and said, don't tell people who you're voting for. White right. people can't do that. The white people who created the system can do that. Right. We can't do that. We can't do that. Because we don't dominate the system. Right. We have to be on one accord. Mm-hmm. But just, really, like, and we're talking about leadership. Remember, granddaddy used to always say he was found himself being a mediator between the two. And, and that's one of the things about leadership. Like, we have to understand, look, we're not always going to agree on everything. That's right. But then when it comes time to where well, we got to put our voice and put our put our vote where our mouth is, we need to be on one accord. So we need to we need to let the main thing be the main thing, pretty much. And so I think you're 100 percent right. Remember, granddaddy said I wasn't just concerned with getting the vote, but what you're going to do with the vote. Now that what you're going to do with the vote right now is more powerful than anything, because we have to. Are we going to leverage our vote? That's right. Are we going to are we going to are we going to come and say, hey. What we need, what we voting on. If not, then we losing, bro. That's right. We got too many MJ. We got too many churches. Let, like I, I got to give it to my boy Sharif. He he is the master talking about leveraging. He been we in a season and teaching about leveraging. Right, right. I got to give it to him. Right. My thing. We have too much clout. We have too many resources to get the word out there, out there on what black people need as far as the rich, the middle class, and the poor. Mm -hmm. You got to think about all three. No one can be selfish. Everyone has to move it as a unit, and everyone got to understand that you're not going to get 100% of what you want. Right. Like granddaddy used to say, what is right and what is best? What is best for you, what is right, might not, you might not benefit all the way, but it's right. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we have what is best mindset. We got to go back to what is right. That means that we got to learn how to take care of each other. The rich got to understand we got to take care of the poor. The poor, the rich, and the poor got to understand we are strong as the middle class black person. So we got to understand we got to take care of each other. Let's find out what that is. Correct. Every pastor, every rapper, every R&B singer, everyone who got all these followers, every fraternity, every everybody need to be putting out there what is it that we need? What is that we want? Let's have that conversation within mm -hmm. democracy. We got the vote, but we everywhere, MJ, we mm -hmm. scattered. Right. What does black, and I, MJ, every time black folks going, you say what you want to say, black people are going to sway the vote. And let me tell black folks something else, and people might disagree when I say this. Stop allowing the Democrats to allow these illegal immigrants to have the right to vote. They're doing it on purpose too. God dang going to make sure your vote don't matter. Yep, because they hear black people talking. See, we mm -hmm. got to, we got to stop falling for everything, just because they say I want to get immigrants. No, the right to vote. No, no, we don't. We don't want them to have the right. To, they need to go through the same thing to get the right to vote that black people got. Went to mm -hmm. they way should be a little harder because we were imports and goods. Mm -hmm. We were we were brought over here not our not on our own dollar. We was brought right. over here for slaves. Exactly. So. We had to go through the struggle to get the vote. They need to go through the same process. Stop allowing the Democrats to preach that because all they're trying to do is move black people to the side and make it seem like black folks' vote is not strong. Yeah, because it's going to get to a point where th that's that's what they're doing, bro. They bring, they look, they're giving the rights to the, to the Hispanics. They're giving the rights to the Middle East and they're giving the rights to the Asians. So what they're doing is, look, the Democrats are saying, look, I gave the LGBTQ their rights. I gave them. I gave the the Asian hate crime bill. All they doing is they giving they giving them they they getting the vote. So then what's gonna happen is we scattered. Then what's gonna happen? Then it's gonna it's gonna outnumber us. So now they are gonna get to a point they're not gonna spend millions of dollars to try to get the black vote. We don't need us. We don't need us. Right. So stop going with that game. Start yeah. telling your state house house representative, your state senator, your federal house representative, and your federal um senator that you don't as a democrat as a black person as a democrat you don't want illegal immigrants to have the right to vote mm -hmm. they should be american citizens that have the right to vote look it sounds it sounds harsh but if black people gonna want to win america you want 
police reform, y'all talking about reparation, we talking about all this other stuff. If you want some, it come down to the vote in your dollar. Mm -hmm. It's simple as that. It's Facts. simple, stupid. Facts. And if we're going to get in the game, we got to get in the game. We got to know how to play it, too. That's right. We got to be on cold. Mm -hmm. We got to be on cold like them folks was on cold in Montgomery. Facts. Them folks on cold. Cold. That dude threw up that hat. It was on. They was on cold. <laughs> we didn't need nobody teaching, preaching. You didn't need Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. You didn't need no FB Reese. They didn't need nobody to get them a pep, pep talk. They was on cold. They said, you mess with mine, it's on. Mm -hmm. That's the type of cold black people need to be when it comes to democracy. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter if them cats, it was some cats you could tell had some money out there fighting, and you could tell Pookie and Ray Ray was out there fighting. Everybody right. was fighting together for one common cause, because you touched one of us. Correct. That's how we need to move every day. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about democracy, that's how we got to move. Isn't that you just know. the truth? But a lot of times we'll 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 disagree, you know. And Tristan said, "Preach, Alan. You know when Alan get wrong, you got to let him roll." Um, we we'll, we'll focus on too much what we disagree on instead of trying to come to a common cause and say, "Look, this is what this is what we need. What what are the things as black people what we need? We all need to be on one. I don't care if you Republican, Democrat, whatever the case is. What do we need as black people? But you know the the problem is it's a conquer and divide." Anytime somebody try to meet with a Republican or, or try to say, hey, this is what we this is what we want or whatever the case is, then you know, you know what time it is, they'll get ridiculed or whatever. Mm -hmm. If you look at Ice Cube, you know, I don't even count Kanye West. I'm talking about like Ice Cube really trying to get the black agenda put forward yeah. and say which party is gonna give us what we need. Let me go holler at them. Yeah, but but this is what we had to do, bro. Mm -hmm. See, see, one thing about us, we are a emotional people. You know what I'm saying? You go to church, no one sings like us. No one prays God like us. No one worships like we. We are driven by emotions. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do, you have to, like I Inka Sanders said at the screening the other week, meet people where they are. Correct. So what we have to learn to do when we do agree with uh, the conservative values or the, or the Democrat value, it don't matter what we have to do. We have to start preaching what we do agree on. It's like, for instance, if I was if I was agreeing with the conservative side, I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't see racism. Right. I'm gonna sit there and say, yeah, it's still racism in America. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still strong. But I agree with uh we do need to take care of our neighborhoods. I do agree with this conservative over here. Mm -hmm. So what that does when you when you meet people where they are by me agreeing with the with the racism, what the Democrats like to prey on and like to keep our attention on, you say I see that. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. But I also agree with this. What mm -hmm. can we do to create something that, that represents both? Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? Right. And so that's, mm -hmm. if I could talk to Ice Cube now and all that, I would say you have to talk more about what you agree on and then bring people with you. You meet them what they are, then say, right. come with me. Right. And that's what we mess up. And then if I come in and I'm talking to all agreeing with the Republican, all the black folks saying, oh, he's just a, another Uncle Tom. But if mm -hmm. I say, hey, man, I see this racism, I see this police reform, this and that, this and that, Democrats ain't done this, they, they had the, they had control of the, the president, the House and Senate, they ain't passed none. Um, I know a lot of black people vote for Democrats. I agree with some of what Democrats says, but we ain't getting stuff done. I agree with what the Republicans can say. I agree with this, that, that, and that. How can we merge this? Mm -hmm. And now you'll have more people like, hmm. Want to listen okay. to you. Right. Yeah, want to listen like, wow, this cat. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we got to do, bro. I agree. That's our, that's our purpose, man. Right. The bridge. The right. Edmonds of the bridge. It, it, you, you could call it FD bridge. He was the bridge, bro. Mm -hmm. We got to be the bridge between between the knowledge of black people with the Democratic Party and the knowledge of people with the Republican Party and understand that, look, we don't disagree on a lot, but what they do, they put out there on the things we disagree on. That's facts. Because it's some of the stuff the Republicans I agree with. Like, I, I, not, can I say this? A lot of what Trump been saying lately about the gender. I, I agree with Ted Cruz. I'm I'm, a, I'm agreeing with Ted Cruz. Ted on Cruz said, "Why do we have women's sports?" Most black she, people agree with that, MJ. Right, and then you see what's happening now. Transgender women are trying to give natural women a another name. Yeah, see, it's like what are we talking about? They, those are women. 
Yeah. See? Come so, on. so Republicans, what I'm saying, I've been, I noticed that Republicans, they stand hard on that. A woman is a woman, a That's man right. is a man. That's right. I've noticed that. So what I'm saying, I agree with that on the Republican side. That's right. A hundred percent. hundred percent. That's right. We, and guess what? It's men standing up for the what women should be standing up for, but they agreeing with that craziness. Right. You know, right. listen, I don't, if you have, you have a right to be transgender. Right. But my point is you don't, you don't have a right to go into women's sports and now say you're a woman. It's not fair. I got a daughter who played basketball. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's big for her, her age. She's almost six feet, she's 12 years old. Right. But at the same time, what if my 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 what if my my cousin decide to go who who her, her age and her height say I want to go play women's sports? He gonna go dominate mm -hmm. and then call him a woman. No, not mm -hmm. what I do agree with. Create a session for transgender. Right, create a transgender league. Yeah, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I now if we want that's that's a compromise, MJ. Mm -hmm. But to go to women's sports and say now you're gonna take over and you've been having these these girls that been that has been practicing and 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 preparing all their lives. And then they're going to get up there. Let me read some of these comments. I know Brittany Angel said, me too, she said she agreed with, uh, with you. They play on our emotions as well. Be whatever part of you want to be, but call them out when they are wrong. Ain't no all or nothing. Speak in what is right and call out what is wrong on both ends, 100%. Um, only a white man can say he a woman and everyone else has to take him seriously. You know, Tris gonna come. He he gonna come with the Henderson no chaser. I agree with that. I agree with that certain extent. Uh, Anastasia, I don't agree with natural born men playing in women's sports at all. They can have their own league, hundred percent. And Brittany Angel oh. said, "Yep, hundred percent, hundred percent." We have to be honest with ourselves. But what we'll do, we will get quiet when they do that. Right. We'll crazy. We get quiet. We don't want to speak up on that. Right. But it's okay to say, I believe. Men should play men's sports. Women should play women's sports. If we want to include the transgender, create their own sports, then say that. Then I can go over here and say that I agree that something to be done by, with police reform because black people are 13% mm -hmm. of the population and they take right. up 60 to 70% of the jailhouse. It's right. okay to believe right. in both. How can we merge this into one mind, bro? It's just like, like they do it with the Martin Luther King and the Malcolm X. And like I said the other week at the screening, I do not become, I do not entertain uh, being a part of that conversation on who is right and wrong, Martin King or Malcolm S. I believe both mindsets are needed. Mm -hmm. Let's stop being in the middle and taking sides of BS, MJ. Even though you got a little pushback with that, but that, that. I got a little pushback, but, but it's, it, I understand the pushback from the right. conversation. Right. It's okay. Right. right. Because what they have to understand is this. It's a lot of people um, who were older than FD reasoning and agree with them marching. They right. feel like they should level alone. Mm -hmm. So they got pushed back. So now I understand I get pushed back. But exactly. it doesn't change my mindset because guess what? It's us in charge of this, in charge of this generation now. You get 100%. what I'm saying? 100%. Uh, cuz, Robert Dow said, great point, cuz the trans should have their own lead. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Have their own lead. Had they own lead, then yeah, that way they can compete. MJ, it's not news to me that a boy went in a girl sports and broke a record. How is that news? Right. How is that news, bro? If you're talking about demean demeaning women, right? If you if you do that, you now think about the generation of girls that hearts are getting broken behind her. Y'all not thinking about them. They not. But we as men are. Because see, bro, because let's 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 keep it a thousand. It's the agenda that's being pushed. Because remember what remember Neo just remember what he just went through. Mm -hmm. Remember he said he feel like that there, there should be no child to come that come his he's not gonna tell his child it's okay if you're a boy to 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 be a girl. He's not gonna do that and he get pushed back. Mm -hmm. Anytime you say something, let's keep it a thousand. Anytime you say something about the LGBTQIA community, um at right now. It, it, it it's almost like it's it's so it's a fuse that's waiting to get blown. So what I'm saying is they rather pushing the pushing agenda, they rather pushing the agenda on the LGBTQ than think about the girls and the women that we right. that would be affected. I'll be affected. They don't care about Millions would be affected, bro. Now one thing I can say, I've seen a lot of trans come out against it about sex changing and all that. 
They said, mm -hmm. man, we just did this to be cross-dressing. He said, one of them said, if I was 12 years old, now they'd be trying to give me a sex change. He said, he said that was that's wrong. Right. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just saying, we as black people have to come together and talk. My grandfather used to always say, look, concentrate on the things we agree on. The, 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 I call myself a Republican crack because it's some things I agree with the Republicans and some things I agree with the Democrats. What I'm saying is this. Let's start being honest with ourselves. It's okay to say that I feel like men should be men, women should be women, and I stand on that. And it's okay to look at them blue, the blue people and say, and I think, and I believe that police reform needs to happen, reparation needs to happen, and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So so that's what black people got to do, man, yeah. to, to get some, some type of change and stop allowing these Democrats to put in your head that you want the illegal immigrants to have the right to vote. They are doing mm -hmm. that for a reason, to guess what? To got, make your vote weaker. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's to make your vote weaker because they know this generation that we in now, this generation coming for blood. My ancestors went through too much to get the right to vote, for us to sit there and just vote emotional and not leverage our vote to get some type of tangible change, bro. That's right. Rosemont said that's right. And Tr Tristan said, you ain't seen one trans man trying to play in the NBA. Nope. 100%. Nope. Not one. Not one. Not one. And, and, and you're in a nutshell, bro, 100% right. And that's why it, 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 it goes back to leadership. Um, hold on, Tawana. Tawana Callahan said, men should be men and women should be women. Let's start standing on it. 100%. Let's tell, our, let's tell the Democratic Party stop passing all that craziness. Mm -hmm. The stuff they want, they they want to allow their kids to do. Right. Because I can't stand people like I can't stand people who make laws and pass um and pass laws for the public schools and they send their kids to private school. Come on, I man. You do that. Come Every on, man. Official, if you run for for any type of office, your that your child it should be mandated that your child go to public school because you. Or creating laws and stuff for public school, but then turn around and send your child to private school. Private school. And mess up the public school. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And start letting them pass laws they won't even allow go in their family, bro. 100% right. We see it all the time. We see it all the time. So, yeah, 100% right. It's the lack of leadership, man. Exactly. And I think, I think that's what it boils down to, bro. Mm -hmm. I think the leadership, we, we need to look at, we need to be self-aware and say, are we really appointing the right leaders That's right. to be over us? <clears throat> and I think we should really look at that and be self-aware. We got to, man. Be self-aware because it, it you, see the, you see the results in our face. And a lot of the times in our community, man, we, we see results and we see dysfunction. And a lot of times we like to operate in that dysfunction instead of calling it out what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, so I agree with with my man um, that was on the Breakfast Club to a certain extent. I agree with him that, yes, we understand there is. He didn't say this, but I understand there is racism. But at the same time, we got to be able to look in the mirror and say we got to fix some things at home also. And then I think we'll grow. It'll be more a, a more effective grow mm -hmm. growth if we do it that way. It will um, be. So what was my say? You said something there. Yeah. So so we got to We have to look at ourselves, man. And then that's that's one of the things that our grandfather and, and, and when they was fighting in civil rights and voting rights, that's one of the things they were good at, man. Because a lot of the stuff that you, if you, even if you hear something negative about the movement, it was never publicly. You might hear it because somebody knows somebody that grandmama told me this, that and the third. But when they came out in the front, they were uniformed. They were ready. They were on one accord. And I think it's conquer and divide. A lot of it's done by design. I think they try to conk and divide us, you know, kind of like when you had used the Michael Jordan LeBron LeBron thing. We'll argue about that all day. And so oh, it's, it's even like that with the democracy. Mm -hmm. We'll argue about what Barack didn't do, you know, we'll we'll stay on Barack <laughs> all day. And just and just because you think Mike the uh, Mike the GOAT, you can't say LeBron great. You know what right. I'm saying? You 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 won't reference what LeBron does because you feel like Mike the GOAT and then vice versa because you feel like LeBron the GOAT, you can't say yeah. but Michael is great. 
Right. You know Basically, you say if you say Mike the GOAT, then LeBron trash. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> That's how they so, do, man. That's Democrat Republican. That's we're how never we're getting in the middle. No, never. Never. Never, bro. Right. And that has that has to change, MJ. Right. And and, and it, it it hurts us every time. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, you know, you could we if I know we I wish that um my grandfather and would have on the way created a party. And I wish that we had one card as as the black community and we was always on one accord. And mm -hmm. then this card that they took, it hit the machine and we vote for the people who who um who got our best interest at heart. It didn't right. matter if it was Republican or Democrat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wish we had a card to say, man, we got we got 10 million votes right here in this car, right. and this is what we voting for. We already voted, and once it get in this machine, um, it's gonna go to the people who we as black people have decided to 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 to, right. to lead us uh, right. in these different areas in this democracy, and right. that's what we have to do, MJ, for us to be fully um, successful, because mm -hmm. we have to be honest with ourselves. Um, what is true, white folks take up seventy. I think 5% of America's population, they can disagree all day. Mm -hmm. They can disagree. They can afford to. Mm -hmm. Numbers don't lie, MJ. Right. Numbers don't lie. Number one thing about math, math is absolute. Mm -hmm. you can't question it. Can't question it when it can't. comes down to the bottom line. It's absolute. Right. Absolutely. So that is what is true. You know what I'm saying? So our way in democracy is way different than the white individuals who created the system. Um, and that's, that's 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 the honest truth, and we can't expect them to determine us how we feel and how we move within the system. You know because they they only they don't have enough to tip the system. Right, we have enough to say to be sexy and say I need them to get mm -hmm. my agenda done. So let me be a part of their agenda so I can get my agenda done with theirs. Mm -hmm. Get what I'm saying, bro? 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. I know we a little bit over time, but look, before before I go, um, I forgot to mention in the announcements, oh. we do we do have a library library tour um, that we are doing. Uh, I said I'm going to keep y'all posted, but I know we have uh, November, the, I think the second week in November, we're going to be in uh, the Ellenwood County Line Library. If I'm not mistaken, um, but we we gonna continue to get y'all the information. Look, what we're doing is um, we have artifacts from the movement, and we are displaying um, these artifacts. So if you're in Atlanta, and and even if you know some people that don't watch the show, spread the word. We 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 going on a library tour. We showing these artifacts. We're talking about the civil rights movement, the voting rights movement. Facts you don't know. We're showing you the receipts um, to back up. Uh, what we're going to be talking about. So y'all, please um, let keep your keep your minds and your hearts um, open for that. Next, um, go ahead. Remember, next Sunday we'll be Ebenezer for the um, next Sunday. I meant to tell you, Miss um, Miss Johnson, she um, asked that we do a selection. So you got to sing, and I got. Oh to man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? So they asked for a selection, Jay. You know. We can't tell home, no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> yeah, but now you know. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll figure it out. Um, so, yeah, we will be there. Glad Miss Fury came on. Um, yes, Miss Fury, we're going to try to, um, we're going to talk to you, see how we can get in some new county libraries um, with the uh, uh, with artifacts and things of that nature. So, I, I know teachers, I talked to a couple of teachers, I know they are, they're already. Uh, to look at these artifacts um, and 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 hear the story of the civil rights. So what what why not go to the library and um and and have them on display and and and, and show them and, and and keep the keep the story going, keep the movement going. Mm -hmm. Also, people, somebody said um, why we don't do this no more. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go down the line. Why who we are? Why we do that? Our grandfather was a man who invited who was instrumental in inviting Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King and John Lewis to so sneak in SCLC to Selma, Alabama. He grew to, under his leadership. The Dallas County Voters League grew from 100 members to over 2,000. This is him with Dr. Martin Luther King here. 
This is him. You see, you see him with the hat um, standing next to Miss Car um, Coretta Scott King. This is him in the background here, marching next to Mr. Fred Shuttlesworth. This is also him with Fred Shuttlesworth and um, Dr. Martin Luther King. This is also him in the mother in the mother church of the Civil Rights Movement, Brown Chapel. Um, he is sitting behind, sitting at the middle pew. Y'all know what that middle pew means. And you see um, Cheyenne Webb is sitting here, and you can barely see um, Ambassador Andy Young knows. And my right there, Dr. Martin Luther King is um, talking. I think Granddaddy would introduce him, or Granddaddy would speak before Dr. King. Um, this is Granddaddy. A lot of people say he won that Bloody Sunday, but this is what would, would, would um, counteract all of that. Here it is, Jose Williams, John Lewis, and our grandfather right there. This is the picture that most people see here. Is a kneeling picture um, at, when they were about to go to jail. Now check this out. This is a picture of the first ever Jubilee Bridge crossing. That's right. um, they did this ten years. Um, this was in 1975. Um, as you can see, Mrs. Coretta Scott King and John Lewis um, came to greet Granddaddy. They marched across the bridge. This was the first one in 1975. This is, of course, the picture. Um, that we all know um, right there. And this right here is the picture of when he got arrested and 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 they had trumped up charges of embezzlement. That was July the 6th, 1965. These are some of the artifacts, the story that we're going to display in the library. So you don't want to miss it when we go on this library tour. Um, you don't want to miss it. This is just people like um, a couple of people asking, why you don't do that no more? And I get it. That's the period. Because if you don't know why we do this, who we are, where it, where it came from, then that kind of put it into perspective. That's right. Um, so, That's right. so yes, we are continuing the legacy, and 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 we are walking in his shoes, which is some some big shoes to feel. But you never feel them. But what I say is, never feel. Yeah. Make, they never get old. Never get old. Never. Yes, never sir. get old. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we appreciate y'all joining us. Um, it, it, it's great, man. This is one of my favorite. This and the tours. Probably in my top five. Yeah. With everything we got on for Granddad Legacy. This is this is top five. And we brought in um shout out to Mr. Alan Reese Jr., uh, my first official Mr. Voter Rights segment guest. <laughs> um we appreciate AJ coming in. So um anything else? I don't think I missed like you know, missed something. Anyone who has any any children who you want highlighted, I don't care where they are. Um right. hit us up. You know, with the, our kids are the future, mm -hmm. and uh, we we was poured into, and we had to continue to pour. Correct. Um, and the way we do things are different than you know most of the time we was poured into in the church and yeah things in different plays. Right. But you know, social media is a big way uh, to pour into. So if anyone have any any children who you feel like they should be highlighted, yeah, man, you know, um, uh, hit us up, and we will most definitely have them on the show. Right. You never know what this does for a child. Correct. You know, it builds their confidence, man. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, when I, when I, as a, when I, I appreciate the people who poured into me, MJ. You right. never, you never forget the people who poured into you as a youngster. Um, mm -hmm. You never forget it because that builds your confidence, man. Right. Without that, you wouldn't have had a foundation to, to, um, to, 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 to get the nose. Right. You know, our confidence was so built, was built up. That when someone finally told us no or we didn't do a good job, it didn't, didn't break. Not, didn't break know, we just went and got better. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And I can test that Miss Fury on here now, my seventh grade English teacher. Mm-hmm. Or to me, I never forget it. I'm 40, y'all. Do the math. So y'all right. know what time it is. <laughs> 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 do the math, man. Do the math. I'm forever in debt to her. So we are know what time it is. So right. That's um, right. Yeah, man, it's it's uh, you 100 right. So yes, that's why we want to highlight the kids and we want to call the Mr. Voting Rights segment because we got the mascot on the way. He he on the way. We got to make sure he right, and that's all it is. So uh, we're gonna try to get the mascot in in your schools. If you want us to come to your schools, we're gonna put together some nice man to come to your schools, speak to the kids, might give them some some stickers and some pencils and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, they need to hear this, man. And it's not just because it's our grandfather. Um, um, it's not just because of that. It's American history. It's American history, man. And we just so happen to be a part of it and uh, uh, um, to, to have the insight of it and to find these artifacts. So um, people have been telling us we need to write a book, and I, and I know we do because our journey is is, is kind of, you know, it's unique. Um, uh, Miss Phil, you know I love you all day. Um, you, you, you already know what time it is. 
Um, so we appreciate y'all y'all joining us. We now we won't be in Sam this week. Book a tour. If you book a tour, we'll be there that weekend. But <laughs> we'll see. We'll see y'all next Thursday. Like Granddaddy used to always say, after every night Come there comes a day. I ain't seen it fail yet. So we right. appreciate y'all joining us. We'll see y'all next week.